Damn. House Forester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. You're dead. And you what die. do I find? You get eaten by your dogs. A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. Maybe but she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. The never girl's death, I then reckon. she had the audacity to go behind my back with Tyrion, when I'd clearly forbade it. And that day she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before her day was out, her brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff Whitehill beat him into the mud in his own... Yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. But then... He killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. Roderick. The saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, the Sandman. He was rather earnest, I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. Loyalty, friendship, respect. Without them, we have nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were passionate. I'll give them that. But they were ruled by their whims. Impetuous when they should have been shrewd. Noble and just to the end. But weak. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. you all enjoyed. I'll be uh, putting this on to my highlights. So if anybody missed the beginning they can catch it there. And then thank you all for stopping by. Mm.
there's the more. Looks like there's more. Ah, uh, the end of the uh, Asher. What about the... what's the name? I can't remember what her name is. Along with the scars across her face. She must be still alive. I didn't see her die. He's wounded and nearly dead. He had a great sword shoved through his gut. We don't have much time. Two seventy five, thirty nine, forty one, forty eight. Mm, not bad, not bad. And platinum, cool. Uh, well, as I was saying, uh, thank you guys for stopping by. It'll be on my highlights. <laughs>